paper sticks to the wall. Like the seashore clings to the sea. Like you'll never get rid of your shadow, Frank, you'll never get rid of me. And all the others... The next morning, Paul heads back to join the rest of the Rat Pack, still uncertain whether he will be allowed to finish the tour. Oh, God. We're talking, we're talking a matter of days. They're not willing to give it um, to the end of the week. Midweek, OK. I've got to go back. And they don't, they're not really saying much, you know? They just want to see me back, and that is that. With his ability to complete the final three gigs in jeopardy, Paul stops off at a local village to collect some presents for the rest of the company. This is Cyprus whiskey. It's good for drinking, for cleaning windows, for the sex, for the mosquitoes. Next time I come, I have six twins, he says. Yes, this that's Cyprus whiskey is fire children. water. Twelve children. What is twelve children? It's one football team only. <laughs> <laughs> only one. <laughs> Ex-president of Cyprus, Mr. Kliridis, he used to drink this. He never solved the Cypriot problem. <laughs> Before we get finished, we'll make the town roar. We'll hit all the late spots and then a few more. We'll wind up at Chili's, but I have to do your party life is going to be a wee wah wee. It's the last weekend of the tour. After his acrimonious departure earlier in the week, Paul is keen to build bridges with his fellow performers. What time's the show tonight, Paul? Oh, it's eight o'clock. There's an unplugged gig tonight, so there's no band. Andrea's sorted out. Then everyone's staying here tonight as well. So, uh, we're here, this is it. Um, I've got a couple of bits and pieces for Andrew and Andrea. <clears throat> See if I can make a piece, basically. Earlier in the tour, Paul's refusal to help out put extra pressure on the rest of the crew. After a week apart, the boys attempt to work out their differences. Yeah, I'm sorry. And Andrea's reaction would make Dean Martin proud. Let's, let's get a drink. Let's get Come a drink. On. Come on. You want a drink? I got one. You got a drink? Yeah, we got one. God, just, you get so caught up with this, you forget, you know? It's like people have got shit going on, and people have got pain, and people are dealing with stuff, and, you know... I think going up to the mountains and stuff, you get a bird's eye view, don't you? You see everything clearer and kind of go, it's not about yeah, you. I can tell when a situation's not not the way it should be. What so, you guys got going on is just lovely because it's, like I say, it's a family, you know? And yeah, it's a family. It doesn't feel like that on my job. It's all so yeah. separate and everybody just comes in and does their thing. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we, all, we, we all share the workload and, yeah. you know, no one's, no one's really the boss. Yeah. We just do what needs to be yeah. done. And it's community, man. Sometimes, you know, one of us may get an ego trip and start going off on one, <laughs> but then you, there's someone to, you know, to say, hey, I've got a minute. <laughs> yeah. You're getting off on one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be me, it could be Andrew, you know, it could be Karen, it could be you, it could yeah. be anyone. In a family, we tell each other these things because we, we love each other. With a sold out show in Orcalini, Paul defies his agent and commits to finishing the tour. A decision which could have serious consequences on far away close. Basically, uh, they. Uh, they found out about filming. They, do, do they know about it? No. I always go by, by destiny. We can plan certain things in our lives and we can say we're going to be doing this and we're going to be doing that. But are we really in control of what we want to do and where we're going to go? So, uh, there may be trouble uh, ahead. Maybe. Mm. maybe not. We'll see. Yeah. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. We'll give you a reference. <laughs> Yeah, I know. That's because.
because he was so bloody loud. Right? Now that Alex has been sacked from the show, Andrea's partner, Karen Kendall, has once again stepped up to operate the sound. You did great. You did really well. I still don't think went wrong. What? But despite the odd mistake, the intimate venue creates an intoxicating atmosphere. Hey, Karen. Yeah? If you're going to pray, pray you get a drink. <laughs> what is it? No matter what it is, just drink it. Mate, I'm a bit fucking pissed, actually. I've got a tap dance in the second half. Thank you very kindly, Mr. Mr. Dean Kira. Martin. No, Mr. Sammy Davis Jr. Mr. Yeah, baby. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dean Martin. You know, as I was growing up, I'd find myself in stages of my life where you kind of ask yourself, you know, what am I doing? There's something missing. Um, and the things you think they are, you do them and it's not that. You know, that time when I did the moonwalk in the playground, I think that was really it. I hope he just brings the essence of the Rat Pack, what they were a bit about, the comradeship, the companionship, and as we always say, it's timeless music. Up your bar. Up your bar. Yeah, much. Are you from the DSS back in the UK? <laughs> <laughs> I'm disabled. <laughs> and he's expecting. <laughs> <laughs> With the whole company staying at the venue for the rest of the night, the evening offers everyone the opportunity to let off a little steam. A bell's a ring, tingling, a ling, tingling, a ling. And you sing la vida pal. Two, three. Well, he's not allowed to talk because he's lost his voice totally this morning. We're heading off back to uh, Paphos, two hours in the car, to pick a van up to load it for tonight's show. Here we go. Oh, the Rat Pack head east to west across the island to reunite with the full band for another sellout show in the beautiful surroundings of Paradise Place, Pomos. To have more of our family members with us is just incredible. I gotta be me. I gotta this is my bodyguard. We call him Psycho Johns. Oh. <laughs> I was a little bit dubious on coming over. And then about a month and a half before Mum and Dad were due to fly over, I was actually attacked for no reason at all while one of them videoed it. And that was it. That was the, like, no, I'm going. I mean, I'd rather be here than be getting bullied in the UK, you know what I mean? It's, it swung some roundabouts. All right, he's fucking biked up there. <laughs> <laughs> like I say, it's, it's nice to do a bit of TV work again. Now that Paul has committed to finishing the shows, the rest of the company are free to enjoy the end of the tour. When I first started in the music business, I thought success was having hit records and big tours and lots of money. My definition of success changed, really. I just get up late, play music all day, stay out late, have lots of fun and do it all again tomorrow. I just think that's the way life should be, just take life as it comes. We only live once. This is an address we have, so we're here and that's that. Yeah, exactly. And if you're not a happy person. Yeah. Don't be miserable with everyone. You know, make everybody else miserable. 
Just be happy. All work and no play is a dull boy. Have some Jack Daniels. Is he that beautiful? You know, I've been thinking a lot about Sammy Davis Jr. recently. I, I'm sort of looking at what he's achieved on a political level, what he did for the black community, on a personal level, what he's done um, to become the greatest entertainer who's ever lived. But tried to commit suicide off the top of the Hollywood Hills in his car, you know? This is just a game, life. You don't take it too seriously. Just remember to play, which is you know, simple, not necessarily easy. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. On his return from Cyprus, Paul was told that his contract with Far Away Close would not be renewed. I need to work out what it's all about. Well, I've still got some time on my hands, you know? I'm turning downstairs into a self-contained flat, so I've got some money coming in. I'm gonna downsize, maybe get rid of my, um, my Beamer, and, um, you know, consider what the next step is. smoothly, grins and smiles from start to finish. It's a rat pack, what do you expect? When you point the camera at us when we got our trousers down, I think, ah, oh, maybe you're going to make us look silly. And we are silly, but we'd rather some people didn't realise that. Hey, Stringer! Hey, Stringer! <laughs> <laughs> I was so... I'm so nervous, my hands are shaking and everything. Will you marry me? Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen.